Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56, and you know that guy behind the camera, my fellow reviewer, John Toe, coming to you with Spirits Review number 23. Uh, this one is going to be another Total Wine Spirits Direct Spirit. This is the Grand Imperial Orange Liqueur, and the cost of this was $28.99. Now, it's, this is, is produced in France, and uh, as I've said in other reviews, it, it's hard to find detailed information on a lot of the Spirits Direct offerings as to exactly who, who made it and all that. I, I, but in my research, I, I've, I've come across some information. I'm fairly confident, not 100%, but fairly confident that this is actually made in France by Ferrand Cognac uh, Company, uh, distillery, whatever. Uh, but this is a citrus and triple sec liqueur. It says, honey yellow jewel tones on this lustrous cognac based liqueur give away to caramelized vanilla, candied orange peel, and fresh zest on the palate. Brandy notes ring true as the orange is balanced by flavors of roasted nuts and toffee. A harmonious finish echoes bitter orange. The ABV on this is 40%. So uh, that's fairly high ABV, I think, for uh, a liqueur. Uh, but anyway, I know John is showing you the, cute, the, the cool bottle. <laughs> And so, let's open this thing up. Well, always got to be a problem here. There we go. I think I can get this. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that's cork. It comes out fairly easy. There we go. I think that's a real cork. Not sure. Uh, not that it really matters. All right. I will say the uh, shape of this bottle makes it a little hard to hold and pour from, but uh, we'll manage. Mm, that's close enough. Close enough. All right. Get this back in there. That's good. Got it all over my hands. <laughs> okay, well, it has a nice golden color. Got it, John? I got it. All right. Okay. Then you need to get yourself on over here. Okay, I can do that. Ooh. I get the alcohol burning the nose right off the bat. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh man, that's a strong alcohol burning the nose. I smell more that than orange. I would have, more than I would have expected. Expected, yeah. But I definitely do smell the orange. And that's about all I smell. Let's try the taste. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Whew. It gets your attention right off the bat. I get orange and hot alcohol burn. Mm hmm all together but definitely definitely plenty of orange flavor this sure is mm. wow that's that's more alcohol burn than i expected even for 40 percent i sure hope it's better with ice it's a little mm. overpowering and strong
I'm thinking I get a little bit of the caramel. It says caramelized vanilla. I get caramel, but not vanilla. Mm -hmm. Orange, caramel, and alcohol. I'm getting <laughs> the alcohol and the orange and not really a whole lot of anything else. And it's, it? sweet. it's sweet, too. Oh, it yeah. is sweet. It is sweet. What I forgot doubt. to mention that. It is sweet up front, orange, caramel, mixed with alcohol burn. Yeah. <laughs> I would have preferred if it had just a little less alcohol burn. But, um, of course, the more you sip it, the more anesthetized your mouth and tongue Yeah, it's, it's getting better. And you start to taste more. Mm -hmm. And I imagine if you, if you sat down and took it from here to about here, you wouldn't really care. Anymore. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> Well, let's try it with some ice. See if, see if that'll help tame the burn. I think it probably will. All right. All right. The flavor is good. Yeah, got a lot of orange, that's for yeah, sure. Yeah, the flavor is, is, is very good. I just, I just wish it wasn't so overpowered by the alcohol burn. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's more... More alcohol burn than that scotch we did earlier. Yeah, that scotch was decent. Let's try it. Mm. Took a little of the burn away. That helps cool down the burn. Mm -hmm. It does. Still there, but the it's orange not, is not as bad. Still pronounced. And I'm starting to get a little of the the bitterness of the orange peel mm -hmm. now that I didn't get before. Hmm. Mm, that's it for that one. Mm. Getting the feeling you don't care for this one. I don't care for this one. Mm. It's, uh, it's a little too strong. And the, the ice helps some. But uh, mm -hmm. it's kind of overpowering. I, I'll agree that the the alcohol burn and flavor is a little overwhelming at first. Mm -hmm. You do get the sweetness and the orange flavor despite the alcohol burn. Right. I get the caramel. And then once you put the ice in, the, the alcohol burn gets down to a more tolerable level mm -hmm. and you can appreciate the flavors more. Yes, it's you can. It's still sweet. Yeah. You, you get the orange and then I get a little bit of the, or, the bitterness of the orange peel mm -hmm. at the end. So this, that does tame it. I would definitely recommend that you drink it over ice. Oh, yes. Or maybe with a little bit of water in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that, to me, that the orange flavor gets a little more intense as you go along. You know. I got gotcha. you. In your opinion? <laughs> <clears throat> because of the strong alcohol burn, I, I can't give it two thumbs up but mm -hmm. I can't give it one thumb up no I might have to give one this way wow okay. it's uh it's just that I thought you would like this not this more one. than it's got a the burn and the alcohol is too much I understand I but the ice does the help the ice does it, help. it definitely does so um, well that's that's about all we got to say about this one at least it's got a cool bottle <laughs> yeah it does. It's got a neat bottle so all right, well, this is uh, Spec Ops 56, and you know the guy behind the camera, my faithful Indian companion, John Doe. And we'll be coming to you with more reviews soon, so until then, cheers.